In this video, I'm going to explain the do's and the don'ts of looking after living with house rabbits. Let's go. Yes, so hello people and welcome to another video. People want a fluffy bunny, they want a dog, or they want a, they would want a dog, but they don't want to have the hassle. But rabbits are a lot less um, wanting and needing. So people go for house rabbits because they're small, as you can see, they're quite small there. And the other one over there, they're quite small, so they're easy to maintain. You can go out for a night out and you don't have to worry about them. You don't have to think, oh my God, is the dog okay? Is it chewed anything? Blah, 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 blah. So if you want rabbits, you just got one there and one there. And they have a nice little run here. And you can go out, clean them out at whatever time you want to clean them out at. And just give them something to drink, eat, and they'll be happy. And you can go out, you can even go out overnight and they'll be perfectly happy because rabbits don't care about the dark. In fact, they're probably better seen at dark because that's when they have to, that's when the predators come out to grab them in the in the wild. Subscribe if you want, that would really help my channel. But the, the likes are what pushes YouTube to give, to help other people. That's one good thing you need to make sure is, which we made a mistake, which I'll tell you in a minute. When we, when we got the rabbits, we had a double decker, um, cage because they were very small they're only so small when we got them we literally were about that small when we got them and then they grew within six weeks to two months they grew to the size they are now which that is very fast um so what i would definitely say is one of those a double you should get a double for sure and but don't have it with, if you're having two, which you should always get two because one, people think, oh, I'll get a rabbit, but rabbits need a companion. Otherwise they're gonna be left on their own, bored, and they'll act out, they'll bite stuff because they're totally so bored. If they have a companion like these two have, they can snuggle up together and become friends. Um, where, but the only thing is, is until they, when you get them as a pup, a bunny, they will be, um, they won't be neutered. Make sure that we had them together and they started fighting because they were gaining, so they're becoming like teenagers fighting, fighting. So I had to separate them until they were neutered. And then I had to keep separating them because uh, they kept fighting again. They were okay through the bars, but they weren't okay. Otherwise when they're out and about, they were fighting. And when I say fighting, they were humping, and that was trying to decide who's the dominant one and who's the bitch. And then none of them, neither of them wanted to, wanted to be the little, the little bitch. They wanted them to be the dominant one, like, I am the master, you will obey me type thing. Whoa. No, that's not the case. You can't have that. So when you first get them, until you've had them neutered, or at least a few weeks after you get them neutered, have a double cage, have them in separate cages, so they're protected from each other. They won't bite each other, they won't attack each other. Once they've been neutered, their testosterone um, will be out of the system. They'll have a little bit in there, but let it let it go, let it remove. And then, to be honest, they're, they're gonna fight. When you start, when you put, first put them together, you're gonna, they're gonna fight for a day or two, but you've got to leave them. We, when, as a person, as, a, as an owner, you don't want to see your rabbits fight because you get a heck of a lot of fur everywhere. But that's because they're deciding who is the master and who isn't the master. But you have to do the, the bonding after they've been neutered because while they're neutered, they can kill each other by fighting. Once they're neutered, they haven't got the testosterone as much. So after a few weeks after, after being neutered, then they won't have as much testosterone, so they won't. They, they say that rabbits that are neutered won't kill each other in fighting. The ones that aren't neutered could potentially kill and be, shed blood. So just bear that in mind. Um, you can send them off to be to be bonded, but they're going to fight again when you come back because they'll be. But they won't. They'll be bonded in there in the person's place, not in where they're actually going to be living for the rest of their lives. So really, really realistically, if you can put them in a room. It's not your lounge. I was in the lounge and it was horrible because I woke up at six o'clock one morning 
I had to come upstairs and they were fighting. There was fur everywhere. It was awful. But I had to leave them. I had to go to work. I had to leave them. And they were been fine ever since. So if you can have a, have a room or something where you can lock them up when they when you come, when it's just to ignore them, let them fight it out. Sweet. Overnight they'll be done. And, you, and they might even take a couple. They might do it once or twice more. The, the other one, he's like, he's like, whatever. I want my dominance back. The other one will be like, no. You're my, you're my bitch, stop being a bitch, take it like a bitch, blah, blah, blah. Smash that like button, please, if you could smash that like button. Likes are what pushes YouTube to give, to help other people. Their, their um, teeth, rabbit's teeth grow 12 centimeters every single year. So they have to constantly chew to, to like to, to um to to wear the teeth down because they imagine if your teeth grew 12 centimeters every single year you have to chew to, to make them back to how they were because if they don't chew then they'll start growing and they'll affect going to their eye and they'll get affected eye and then they'll then they'll be put down because you haven't treated them properly also rabbits molt twice a year which is basically all year round because they have the summer that they have to, they have their summer shed and their winter shed so they're always molting, so you have to keep vacking. They'll, as you can see, the floor is a little bit uh, mucky, as you can see, a little bit full of hairs, not hair, full of wood shavings and stuff, because they are always shedding. Some stuff to, uh, to chew, to play with, cardboard, um, hay, wood, just stuff, to, just stuff that they can chew, entertain themselves. Um, also, um, leaving a rabbit to not be able to jump around and run around for a good few hours a day isn't very happy because in the fields they'd be jumping around they'd be hopping skipping jumping around enjoying themselves running and that's what they want to do in a run like this they can't they can't really run they have to just hop around so every night most of the time when we are in we let we open these, these bits the run here and they can run in and out, running out. They can go through there and run that way. They can go wherever they want, but and they won't and they won't bite anything. Hopefully not. As I said, that's why we have that cardboard there, that piece of wood there, and we have cardboard on the back of the couch there because they will damage your furniture, and that is there to protect cables because they will damage cables. I see a lot of posts where the run has twinkly lights around the thing because they want it to, to look all pretty. Do your favour, Stop! don't be stupid. And I also see ones where they're just one layer high rather than two. This rabbit here was able to jump onto the back of the couch before I put this third layer in. Rabbits can jump. They'll use the carpet or whatever to pivot themselves up and they will jump. They even go up the stairs there, they can run going up the stairs. Rabbits can do more than you think. So get rid of all the stupid lights you've got up around to make it look all pretty. Um, or, and make sure that anything, like don't put a box here or there or any edge of where they could get out because they'll get on the box and they'll jump over it. We don't have any boxes around here and places where they can jump up, say a platform like that. We've made it three high because if they jump up, we got up one morning, found this one laying there. We were like, why are they laying there? How's he got out? So I had to go on this camera that we've got for our rabbits to see that he'd got on that carpet and jumped up to the back of there, got down and laid there. And this one was stuck in because he can't jump as high. So we had to put a third layer there. And then also the good thing is, is we then we got rid of all the cage apart from that little tray there. We put Timothy hay. Now Timothy hay, coarse cut Timothy hay is the best stuff. It's natural, it's from the fields. It's what they'd be used to. It's good for them. It's got the right vitamins and stuff in it, which helps their stomachs. Other hay can be really bad for them. So make sure you do that. We have wood shavings in there as well, so they can um, they can wee and poo in there. Although they do wee and poo it still around the hay. So you have to, when you clean them out, you have to like filter all the hay to get rid of any poo bits because rabbits do do two lots lots of poo. They do one lot of poo that they don't eat, and they do another lot of poo that they eat again because it's like their um, 
metabolism, not metabolism, they, 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 they re-eat one lot of poo and they don't eat the other one. But if they eat it, it looks disgusting, but it's what they need for nutrients. It's got something in it that helps them. So if when you see them eat it, you'll be like, ooh, but it's not as bad as it looks. So don't worry about it. You have a bit of carpet, so then they can have, so when they're in here, they can have a nice carpet to sit on and a soft uh, thing. And this piece of thing that covers the carpet, just so you know, it's, an, it's a piece of vinyl flooring that because vinyl flooring is slippy, I turned it upside down so it wasn't as slippy for them. So they can still walk and it's all cleanable as well. It's upside down, it protects the carpet underneath. Um, and that tray is perfect for them. They have plenty of hay for both of them. Um, we used to have two water bottles. Water bottles is no good because they have to try, they have to basically fight over a water bottle spout. So we got a dog bowl and we put, and now they can, that's a good way for them to, uh, basically they can share the water. They want like a communal area, like they're sharing it, they're not forcing, they're not trying to fight over the spout. They've got a nice bowl they can drink out of and they're very happy. And then we used to have a uh, two um, two food bowls, one for each, because obviously when they're in the cages, but now we've got rid of that. And so, it's, so it gives them something to do. The best thing is you get your nuggets, which we have what nuggets with mint in it, which they love it. They absolutely, you open the actual tin for them and they go crazy for it. When they've had it, when they, while they're chewing and, they, and they're um, distracted, I will get the thing and I'll sprinkle a load of, of uh, nuggets throughout the hay, you just sprinkle it, and then they, will, they will, then they will get in there and they will they will forage for it. And it gives them something to do, they're not bored, they're looking for their food, blah, 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 blah. and it's really, they enjoy it. And so, and whilst they're having, trying to find the, the, uh, the nuggets, they can also eat their, their lovely Timothy hay, because it's to grind down their teeth, as I said. So people who have cages, that's kind of evil. They really need something, um, don't need quite this big of a run. Slightly smaller, it would be would be suffice if you let them out of your house. If if you let them out of the if the cage, once a day or something like that, one in the evening or whatever or or whatever. But this, I could literally go out now. I could clean them out because it's dirty. This is from yesterday's clean out. They whenever they jump out of the, their little cage. Um, thing they'll they'll make a mess because it's attached to their um, feet. But yeah, I could clean them out now. I could go out and I could not have to, wouldn't have to come back until tomorrow and they'd be perfectly fine. So, you know, so it's per it's a much better, much less demanding way of looking after rabbits. Yeah, whenever you order off Amazon, you'll get a, you'll get an Amazon box. Keep replacing it with that, and you'll be fine. People think that being that um, they know all about it. Oh, we must have two, three tier rabbit um, cage. No, you don't. You need just, once, once they're bonded, take the cages away, have the tray like I've got, have the run like I've got. You can leave them to it and they're perfectly fine. It's sweet. Um, but you've got to make sure you have the, you have the right nuggets, the right hay. Give them a, a bowl of water rather than bottles of water. Um, let them sort things out for themselves. Keep clean them out every day. If you go on a holiday, make sure somebody can look after them, whether it's coming over to the to the house and cleaning them out, or if they've got their own house, you can take, if it's for a week or two, you go away with it for, see if, if they'll have the rabbits over at their house with all the, with all this. My mum does this, my mum takes the rabbits to her house when we go over for more than four nights, three nights, four nights, she takes them to her house so she can look after them there. If it's, if it's just a weekend and we go away, my mum either does it, clean, comes here to clean them out or my wife's parents come over and clean the rabbits out here as well. It's not as hard as it is, just, you've just got to make sure that one of your parents or a friend isn't going away when you are. That's all it is. Also, if you let, uh, if you let, uh, um, if you have your parents or your friend um, come over and look after them, it saves you sixty pounds per rabbit because the rabbits have to have injections if they go to a kennel. Uh, so it saves you sixty pounds per rabbit for injections every year, and also the boarding fees are around uh, around 
seven for three pound to five pound per rabbit per day so i'll save you that as well so just bear that in mind there are costs like there are costs with dogs not as big costs but rabbits are easiest to work with these rabbits are six years old now they they love this house they love it they let them out at night and they absolutely love it they look these rabbits are lion head um lop ear cross so they have got another two or four years to live so you've got to bear that in mind as well but you've got to don't fall into the whole thing of when one goes don't buy another one for the other one because then you because if you buy another one then you've got then you're going to extend your time with with rabbits you always want to extend your time with the rabbits once these rabbits have gone I think I'm done for, for a good few years. Less hassle, they can go away. They're good, they they, they do nudge you and lick you to say thank you. They love being um, rubbed on the top of their nose there because that's their only blind spot, believe it or not. They, they, they sleep 16 times or 12 times a day because they're always hit listening out for predators. So just bear that in mind that uh, if you want rabbits, do it properly. Don't leave them outside in the cold. Because how would you like it if someone put you in a wooden box outside in the freezing cold? Um, you wouldn't like it, would you at all? They need to be able to run, move, walk, and they're very happy. If you want rabbits, you either have them in a, in a hutch, or in like a shed out in the in your back garden, and a massive out outdoor run. But then you've got foxes they've got to deal with and cats they've got to deal with overnight. Just have them in your house. Or if you don't want that, just don't get a rabbit. They're not as... They're not just little pets. You can have your little kids and walk away and blah, blah, blah. You, your kids will get bored of them and then you'll have to deal with them. And then you have to give them somebody else and you've spent all this money on them. So before you get rabbits, make sure you're up for the for looking after them, the cleaning them out. You can even use the rabbits to teach your kids to for responsibility. Let Make them clean them out every single day. Make them feed them. Make them water them. Gives them responsibility like they've got a job and you can maybe give them spending money like you've cleaned these out every day so here's a pound or save that pocket money up and buy them something really nice themselves a treat so it gives them something to do but in general that is how what rabbits are about they have uh, the hay under there they have the they have the waste thing there uh, you just get rid of the waste you, you buy uh, wood shavings from pet shop uh, you buy um, you can get they like lettuce as well now people say Iceberg lettuce isn't good for them, but these our rabbits have never had any issue with iceberg lettuce. As soon as you put it in there, they, they, they're munching it like that. They love it. You, as soon as they, they have in the carrot in the morning, they absolutely love the carrots in the morning. But I'd say peel it because carrots do have bad bits. I mean, you don't have to, but you know. But the rabbits love um, carrots in the morning, and if you give them banana, oh bloody hell, I can be ten meters down the way. As soon as they hit smell that banana, they're here. They're on it. Boom! They're done. They want the they want the banana. They this little go crazy for it. So, but you know, rabbits have to have treats. So, I hope you like this video. Um, so it might have been a bit long winded. I will cut a lot of the crap out so you won't know. Um, so, if you can press the like button, then that will help the algorithm and YouTube be like, people like this video, it'll help other people understanding what it's like to have house rabbits or rabbits generally. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, comment down below if this, was, if this was helpful for you. Um, I've seen a lot of videos with absolute crap advice. Um, basically, they don't know what they're doing at all. So, and we've had six, seven years of this, of, of looking after rabbits. So we know what we're talking about to a point. We're not professionals, but we know what our rabbits like. And if we can help anybody, then sweet. We're very happy. And um, the like button obviously um, helps promote these this video for other people who potentially may want a rabbit or, you know, don't want a rabbit. And they want, they want to convince their parents to give them a rabbit or whatever, or or the convince their, or the pet for the parents to show the kids to convince the kids not to have a rabbit because it's too much effort for them. There you go. So hopefully you like this video and uh, see you all soon for another video. Bye bye.